How's it going there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is a new series that I'll be doing on my channel called Let's Fix Lion. OS X Lion rolled out very smoothly, there were very few issues, and for the first release it's rather stable. However, that being said, there are still a few things that irritate me, and I'm sure they irritate you as well, and in this series, which will by the way not interfere with our regular video schedule, so for those of you that are um, avid fans, don't worry, nothing will get in the way. Um, this will help you make Lion a more enjoyable experience. Now, the first one is Mission Control. Mission Control has been a bit of an issue for a lot of people, uh, and some people went back, like I'm going to show you how to do in a future episode, um, how to go back to the regular expose and spaces. Uh, I myself am not a big fan of Mission Control. I feel like it's uh, rather slow and unintuitive. However, uh, this is not the time to complain. What I'm going to tell you about is how to fix this ugly, ugly wallpaper. I am definitely not a fan of it, and people have been asking me on Twitter, Quinn, how can I change this horrendous wallpaper that I see in Mission Control? And I'm going to give it to you. It's pretty freaking ugly. So we can change it. It is going to take a little bit of work, but don't worry. Bear with me. It'll be fast and easy. What we need to do is open Safari. And if you don't know it already, you will need to find your screen resolution. Yours may be 1440 by 900 or 1336 by 728. Really, there are tons and tons and tons of screen resolutions. Don't worry if yours isn't 1920 by 1080. However, that's what mine is. And so I'm going to go to Google. And uh, you just want to find a keyword for the background you're looking for. Uh, I want one that's not distracting, that won't you know, distract from the rest of mission control. So I'm just going to type in pattern. Something basic and something uh, modest. Now, I'm going to go to images here on Google, and I'm going to type exactly. You are going to type your screen resolution in this field. You want the exact same size as your monitor for this display, and that's very important. So 1920 by 1080. All of these are a little bit distracting, let's say, so you can even narrow your search down further by saying, I only want ones that are relatively black. Okay. So here's one that I think I like. I'm going to go to the full size image, which it may not let me. Let's try it. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take this and drag this to my desktop. Now, you may notice right here that this is a JPEG. Uh-oh. We need it to be a PNG file. Not to worry. Open this up in uh, preview, and you're going to go to File, Export, and you're going to name it the following. So first of all, I need to select the format as PNG, okay? And you'll need to do the same if it's not already a PNG. And if it is, you just have to rename it to default desktop.png, okay? I'm going to save that to the desktop. And as you've noticed, I have my original image right here and the fixed image right here. Now I need to open my finder and I'm going to do uh, a command which will allow me to go to a certain folder. So I'm going to press Shift Command G. Uh, but if that's a little bit confusing, you should also go to the Go menu and then click Go to Folder. Now you're going to need to follow this path. Uh, type backslash system, backslash library, backslash core services. You're going to press Go, and once you get there, you'll find uh, this you know, kind of intimidating looking window. Uh, you're not going to probably have seen much of this in the past. Now you're going to navigate down to the icon that says Dock. Once you get to this Dock, you're going to right click it and press Show Package Contents. This will actually open the application or the resource file for Dock and it actually houses a lot more information than just the Dock. But we're going to click Show Package Contents. Okay. Now we're going to go to Contents. Now go to Resources. And when you scroll midway down the list, you'll find this right here, default desktop.png. As you can see, this is the original mission control file, as uh, you can see here. It's just simply tiled. But what we're going to do is, firstly, we're going to rename this so that it will not interfere with our new wallpaper, but also we don't want to delete this file altogether. So if we need it again in the future, uh, we're not SOL. So you're going to press return, uh, rename it. I renamed it default desktop one. You can name it old image or whatever you like. You're going to need to authenticate it as you are modifying system settings. So once I've done this, this image will no longer uh, be in service. So what I'm going to do is go to default desktop.png and drag it into this file. Again, you're going to need to authenticate it with your administrator password. And once you've done that, you can clean it up if you so choose. Um, there we go. And here we are, default desktop.png. Now you may notice, well, it didn't change. 
not to worry. You can either A, reboot your computer, which if you're not tech savvy is probably the easiest, or if you are tech savvy, tech savvy, tech savvy open terminal, you can just search it in Spotlight and then type kill all, one word, uh, doc. Once you've done that, you can press the mission control button and you'll notice that the image you grabbed from Google or wherever uh, will now take place. Again, I wouldn't recommend a distracting image as well, they're not that elegant. However, as you can see this already, I don't even like this one, but this is much better than the original. So that's how you're able to change the default uh, wallpaper that is managed in mission control. Hopefully that was of help to you. If it was, let me know in the comments, send it out to your friends on Twitter or Facebook, whatever. Let's get people to know about this new series on how to fix the intimidating and sometimes irritating issues about lying. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.